Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Big day. The uh, storm track, this major storm cycle, is delivering. In fact, take a look at Crested Butte, 20 inches in 24 hours. This is one of my my uh, key places, I think, will receive some of the biggest grand totals along with Wolf Creek and Silverton and Telluride, Alta, Grand Targhee, Jackson Hole, um, Steamboat uh, to some degree. So that's the view um, on their snow stake as of right now. I want to take you actually live up there to Crested Butte. I mean, it is a big powder day up there. Look at everything covered in snow. It's going to snow hard all day up in Crested Butte as it looks right now. Let me take you down to Wolf Creek. They're reporting 14 inches of new snow in the last 24 hours. Still snowing and blowing down there. They could end up with six feet or more grand total by the time we get to the first of the new year. And this is that key time frame I was talking about, which was started yesterday and runs all the way through the first. Here's Jackson Hole. You've got waves of snow coming. Reporting about nine inches, I believe, in the last 24 hours. Let me take you to the big picture here. I, I mean, like I've said the last few days, the size of this trough is incredible. And you can see it here in the storm track in yellow, how it's digging to the south. It's like a big bowl in the atmosphere and a tractor. And so all these areas of low pressure come in, rotate around. Some of them get ejected into California. And we're also tap tapping into the subtropical jet the area I marked in green. I mentioned this yesterday. So we're taking these areas of low, gathering some moisture, adding a lot of jet support, and then firing them off into Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, Idaho, Montana, northern New Mexico. So that's the big pattern at this point. I mean, it just could not be any better um, at, at this point. Let me show you the future position of some of this on the American model here. So this is the uh, GFS. Um, let me roll this into Saturday morning. Um, so this first storm will have moved away out of uh, Colorado, Utah, Wyoming, but we're already starting to get some moisture, some new snow on the on the front side of the next storm system. You can see it moving into the Pacific Northwest and the West Coast. So it's already spreading snow into the interior. Let me take you into Sunday morning. So again, that was Christmas. Here's Sunday morning, the 26th. Next low moving right through Utah into Colorado, Wyoming. This one, moderate to heavy snowfall. So this one will deliver as well. And there's another low hitting the Pacific Northwest. You can see it up there. Let me take you into Monday morning. Next low hits the high Sierra, and that one will also move into Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado. This is the 28th right here, snowing in Colorado. Um, here's the 29th, still snowing in Colorado. Another storm off the West Coast. Let me take you into the 30th. Here's the morning of the 30th. Let me take, here's another one dropping. And I mentioned this yesterday, the potential for a Northwest type flow. And there it is in the 31st. You can kind of see it coming out of the Pacific Northwest, dropping down through Idaho, Montana, Wyoming. And then here it comes. By the 1st, it has moved into Utah and into Colorado. So we've got at least three more storm systems lined up and maybe this concluding with a bit of a northwest flow type of pattern. So uh, this is this is looking, it's still looking very good. And as far as grand totals, additional snow between basically all of today. So it, it's going to snow hard today. So all of today through the first of the new year, um, big time numbers. You know, we're looking at uh, two, three, four feet of snow in parts of Colorado over Wolf Creek. It could be more. It could be five feet, six feet. We'll see how it plays out with wind direction, but up in the, uh, the Wasatch, big numbers yet to come. Brian Head, Jackson Hole, Grand Targhee, um, Sun Valley's in for a couple of feet. I like the western slope ski areas digging down here just a little bit in Colorado. I like Snowmass, Aspen down to Crested Butte, Silverton, Purgatory, Telluride, which I don't have the map on the map here, but Telluride's right there with Purgatory as far as the numbers, and Wolf Creek is probably going to be the biggest. Great to see these numbers in Taos, Angel Fire, and Ski Santa Fe is right there as well. Um, so they're, they're all in the game, about uh, one to two feet right there. The most will be in Taos. Let's look at a couple plumes I've got set up. Here's Alta. Um, you're going to have heavy snow today and tonight. So I think one to two feet during the day tonight, today, tonight. Um, and then we'll add to that tomorrow, the 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and into the 1st. Um, a lot sort of depends as well what happens with that final storm of this series around the 30, 31, 1 time frame. So that is yet to be seen. These numbers for Alta may be a little bit optimistic, but 
Um, we'll, we'll just high side it on Alta and Snowbird. Um, here's Crested Butte. I think these are entirely possible. I mentioned yesterday grand totals of 50 inches or more. We're already well on our way to that. All we have to add is another 30 inches, and I think we're easily going to do that. We'll probably add another foot to 14 today there in Crested Butte through tonight, and then another, uh, you know, at least six, seven inches tomorrow into the 26. And you can see how the numbers just keep escalating, keep accelerating up through the first of the new year. So we're going to reach those grand totals, I think. That's the way it looks right now, guys. We'll end on the um, um, the totals map here through the first. And I uh, hope everybody has a chance to get out and ski some of this powder through the first of the new year. Obviously, we're headed for a major avalanche cycle in the backcountry. Be aware of that. I'm sure you are. Um, but, yeah, I'll keep things updated here. Always appreciate you guys tuning in.